The FG knot that I tie is used for connecting fluorocarbon to braided line. Today I'm using 20 pound fluorocarbon to add to my pitch and flip setup. You'll need to pull about maybe two to three feet of line and wrap it around your hand, being sure not to cross the line because it will cut when you come time to pull. I find it easier to tie my braid to the handle of my reel. This allows me to use both hands to tie the FG knot and also measure exactly how much tag end I'll need. You're going to want to lay your fluorocarbon on top of the braid, about four to five inches from the handle, and make sure you're facing towards the tip of your rod. Now we're going to be making a series of wraps, the first of which goes towards the tip of the rod and under the braid back towards you, pulling it tight. The second loop also goes under the braid, towards the handle back towards you, and over, pulling it tight again. The third wrap goes back towards the tip of the rod. The fourth wrap goes back towards you towards the handle. Continue these steps, maybe 15 to 20 loops. And what you're essentially doing is creating a Chinese finger trap that when pulled will grip onto the fluorocarbon, creating a strong connection and one that won't break. The more loops you make, the longer your Chinese finger trap will be and the more weight is distributed across the tension of the line when you go to hook set. I typically like to wrap about 15 to 20 times, but for me, I have found 20 is the perfect amount of wraps for the perfect FG knot. It's also important to remember that you won't tie a perfect FG knot the first time. It's going to take you a few tries, and that's okay. Give yourself some grace. Once you've finished your 20th wrap, it should look something like this. With the Chinese wrap being done, the only thing left to do is cut the tag end off your handle. You should be left with something that looks like this. Now you can finish this a few different ways. You can make multiple overhand knots and hope those hold, but one of the ways that I found to finish an FG knot actually comes from the saltwater world. Take the braid tag end and lay it over the braid and the fluorocarbon on the top of the knot. Now you're going to make anywhere from six to seven loops down back towards the FG knot that you've created, making sure to go around the braid and around the fluoro, but also through the loop that you've created. Now this part can be complicated. So again, take your time. There's no rush. Make sure that you can Get the braid tag end through that loop that you've created, wrapping around the braid and the fluorocarbon back towards the FG knot, and you may need to redistribute the line as you go. Once you've finished, it should look something like this. Now be very careful to not pull that tag end because it will tighten those loops that you've created around the braid and fluoro. The next most important thing is to take the loop that you created and wrap it backwards against the loops that you created down the braid and floral line. If you do this right, you'll notice that the loop disappears. Wet it and cinch down the tag end. It's important to do this slowly so that you don't burn any of the line, but also ensure that you're not laid perfectly on top of the Chinese finger trap that you've created. The final product should look something like this. Now that the knot is tied, it's safe to pull on all of the lines that you can see, making sure to pull the opposite tag ends as well as your opposing main lines. It's important when pulling this line tight that you don't burn any of the line as well as ensure that if you're going to wrap it around your hand that none of the lines cross because they might cut. To finish this knot, we're going to clip off the tag ends, ensuring to leave about a couple millimeters at the end and I'll show you why in just a second. The saltwater guys that showed me this also told me to be careful of this tag end because it can wear away and ultimately cut your braided line. So to avoid this, they taught me to take a lighter, wet the knot and hold it in your thumbs, burning away at the fluorocarbon tag end that's left. This will create a little nub that you can then take your fingers and rub together, creating a small ball. And it takes away the sharpness of this fluorocarbon tag end. Now that's where their tips and tricks ended for me. 
But in fishing this, I've learned that sometimes this braid tag end will slip through the knot that we created. So in order to stop this, you can do one of two things. You can trim it and tie a knot to try to keep it from coming through the knot that you created. But for me, what I have found is to use the same technique for the fluorocarbon on the braid. Wet it with your mouth, hold the knot in your thumbs, and use a lighter to burn down the braid, creating a little nub that won't slip through your knot as it's being fished. When you've completed the FG knot, it should look something like this. It's very slim, it goes through guides great, and it's an awesome connection for big fish tactics and can also be used for finesse approaches. So there you go. Good luck, boys.